Thrive Cart Bump versus Upsell. This video will show you what the differences are, when you can use them, and kind of the pros and cons. So probably the big thing to note is that bumps occur before the first transaction and upsell occurs after the first transaction. And yes, you can do a one-click upsell um, inside Thrivecart so that a customer does not need to go back to the payment processor and re-enter their details. So let's dive in. So inside Thrivecart, we're gonna use a product and we're gonna create a bump offer for it, and then we're also gonna do an upsell. You can use all of those in the same order, if you will. You can have a main product with a bump that also has an upsell and a downsell if you want. So let's go into this main product here. We're gonna edit it. And I wanna click on bump and tick this box. Yes, I do wanna offer it. You don't have a lot of control over the look and feel at this time. So I'm gonna give it a name. I'm gonna say bump offer. It's going to be priced at $1. And I can edit this. I can edit this and probably want to just say and that's it. There is I believe a character limit to that. You can set up fulfillment so if I just go to next where do you want to send them after? So note that if you if your customer purchases the bump offer, they will receive two links on their success page. And that's all I want to do. So let's just take a look at how this looks. We're in test mode, so no, no magic transactions are going to occur. So I'm just going to simply go here. And notice I've got this bump offer here. So I do have that capability to, in addition to pay the $1 for the main product, if I tick this box, it'll show that I'm gonna be charged $2. So let's go back and quickly edit this and look at that bump again. So notice it's a one-time, one-price thing. It's not a subscription, uh, it's not split pay. There isn't a lot, it's kind of an inspiration or a, a you know, a purchase, a impulse purchase on the moment. Let's compare that with a upsell. And I'm gonna go ahead and disable this for this product now. Okay, now let's take a look at, up I wanna edit my upsell. And it looks a lot like a product. You can customize it, you can uh, add them to their autoresponder, put in tracking, whatever you want. So this is my upsell product. Unlike a bump, I can do one time, subscriptions, split pay, whatever much like a product. And then fulfillment, that's just that. I can customize the page that shows up, either use the cart's upsell page or use my own upsell page. And again, not a lot you can do with the look and feel here. This would show up on your own uh, upsell page. They give you some con or JavaScript to embed, or I should just say some script to embed on your page. So I'm just gonna use the cart's upsell page and again, I'm just gonna say this stuff is limited in what you can do. It definitely works, it's functional, and then I'm not even gonna change this. I could add them to uh, autoresponders if they take the upsell. I can add tracking, whatever. So I'm gonna click on save my upsell. And then I wanna go to the products list and create, and click the create funnel. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And so I'm gonna edit funnel, because I think I've already messed around with this. And the great thing is upsell or downsells can occur. And it looks like there's a, a number of them. So um, right here, way I've got it set up is upsell product is going to be um, the one I've just set up that's the only one. And here's the kind of an important point to note. You can cancel the payment for the product re it replaces you want or not, and it's an add-on. And from there, you can do downsells. You've got a, a, a large number of choices to make here. So beyond that, you can integrate with membership. There's some custom scripting you can do, but let's just go ahead and click on Save My Funnel. So now let's take a look at that. And I could do either credit card or PayPal. I'm gonna click on Complete Order. And then here's the upsell. I can take this or not. 
and I'm going to click on yes. I think I sent them to an example page. Uh, I didn't send them anywhere actually. So anyways, that's kind of the difference between a bump and an upsell offer within ThriveCart.